Hi there, it's a beautiful day up in the mountains and I'm just about to go into my studio and start working. Here's my trusty friend outside. He's useful for putting a jacket on when you have to do a posthumous portrait or something like that. So what's going on today? Well, I've got lots of stuff on, on and off easel. Uh, these are some corset paintings I've been working on with gold leaf. I'm hoping to have these all ready for a show in February. A lot of fun there. And on the back wall, various um, giclées of paintings I've done that um, are now sold. Below, I have a bunch of palette knife portraits which I've been experimenting with. Really having fun with these. No brush used. This was one I did from life at the California Art Institute last week where I teach. About three hours painting time. This is also a model from my teaching class. Hip-hop dancer. Um, this is one I, uh, I did of my husband. And this is one I did of the California painter Jeremy Lipkin after his Sierra workshop outing in the summer, which was a lot of fun. So if I scroll around the studio, various portrait commissions in end stage, finishing stage, beginning stage. This one is an interesting one. It is a compositional sketch for a client uh, to approve before moving on to the finished painting. It's a second uh, commission for this client. The first one was this up here. This is a picture of the painting. And I um, really enjoyed painting that one. It was an interesting commission. Eleven nieces and nephews of a family put in a painting scene. And the client wants the same idea here, but the family's now increased to 14, I think. Uh, the colour palette will be the same, orange and blue. Over here with my triptych, I'm using a palette of yellow and purple. So basically, I limit myself to these yellows, a neutral yellow, a warm yellow, and a cool yellow. And the same deal with the purples. You know, a neutral, a, a cooler purple, a neutral purple, and a warmer purple. A lot of fun to, to do it that way. I have over here inspirational portrait done by Everett Raymond Kinsler, um, who I've studied with for quite a few years. This is a, a portrait he did of William Draper, a famous portrait painter now, unfortunately deceased. But uh, I love having stuff in my studio that really inspires me. And right down below I have um, this new catalogue I just found um, about one of my very, very favourite painters, Philip de Laszlo. So I have that up there to just really, you know, improve my game, reach a different level. And this is a very treasured studio item, Philip de Laszlo's National Gallery Guide, which my girlfriend found for me in a Scottish store, believe it or not. And it is inscribed to Uncle Philip from his niece Constance, Christmas 1918. So it's fantastic for me to think that Philip Stelazlo's hands was, were hopefully on this book and uh, hopefully have some of his energy in the studio. Up here I have a picture of me and my Face of Ventura project. All these sitters were painted from life in a single one and a half hour sitting, now in the permanent collection of the Museum of Ventura County. I'm doing the same project now with a different newspaper in a different town, the town of Malibu, with the Malibu Times. So, to view more of my work and my still lifes, portrait commissions, landscapes, please visit my website at www.johannaspinks.com. That's it for now. Bye.